It's Alicia from My Work Basket. I'm here today to show you the Fiskars Box Maker. Um, now it is called the Fiskars Box Maker. However, it can make boxes, envelopes, and bows. And I've done one video to show it as a box opening. I've also done one video to show you how to make the bows. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the envelopes. And then in another video, I'm gonna show you how to make the boxes. Um, so first, little quick tip is to make sure that you always put your stylus away going the right direction. It's got a line on just one side. Make sure that's facing up. Um, so for the envelope, it comes with a size guide and it tells you, so if you make a card, say you make a card that's three and a half by five inches, it tells you this is the paper size you're gonna need and then it tells you a ruler position. So you can make a card pretty much any dimension you want, and then it's gonna tell you how big to cut your paper and how to make your envelope. And you can do it, you can see here all of these little ones and this whole side, those are all envelopes. Um, the biggest one on this little card that comes with it is a six inch by eight and a half inch card, which uses an 11 and a half by 11 and a half inch piece of paper. So um, I, what I did today is I actually just cut a seven and a half inch square and so I'm going to make a four and a half by four and a half inch envelope, just for the sake of demonstration, because it uses a seven and a half inch square. Um, I do find the square envelopes to be a little bit easier to make. Here's a sample. Um, here's another sample of just a square envelope. Both of these were made with about a seven and a half, by, these were eight and a half inch square paper. You can also make rectangular envelopes. Um, I love how this one got the diagonal pattern going. Um, however, I personally, and it probably is user error, I'm going to admit that, I end up with a little extra tab when I make a rectangle. Um, now, obviously, you could just fold it under, you could just cut it off. You know, if you have like a fancy quarter rounder, just trim it off and it'll still be super cute. But that happens to me whenever I make rectangular envelopes, and I didn't actually even glue this one down. But I do love the envelopes that it makes. I love how easy they are to make. And so I'm going to get started. So it tells me that for my seven and a half inch paper, my ruler position is going to be three and three fourths. So I'm going to come across here. I'm going to pull out my stylus. So three and three fourths, all of the dimensions are clearly marked. I'm going to come to it here. I'm going to punch. And I'm going to go just this thing across the top. Now, because I'm just using pattern paper, I am not pushing my stylus very hard. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now, what you're gonna to need to do is make sure this line lines up with this scoring area. And on a square envelope, it pretty much does by itself. On a rectangular envelope, you have to shift it a little bit. I can't remember if I punched that already. Then you're gonna turn it, you're gonna do that on all. You can do that four times. One more here three and three fourths, do my score line. And then that's it. But to make it even look even better, I'm gonna bring it over here to the other corner rounder. I'm gonna round all my corners. And then if you just fold up your score lines, You've got your envelope. Now all you have to do is fold these. I'm gonna bring out my little glue pen, a little dot to hold that over. Up there to hold the bottom flat. And just out of this simple eight and a half by 11 inch piece of pattern paper, I now have my own custom envelope just that quick. So again, this is the Fiskars box cutter. Um, they sent it to me and I'm just showing it to you because I really, really love it. Um, I have another video to show you how to make bows and I'm gonna have another video to show you how to make boxes. So again, this is Alicia from My Work Basket. Thanks for watching.